Hello, this is George R. Cop on YouTube. Hello, and this is my look at the right at the Hello, this is George R. Cop on YouTube, and this is my look at the new Atlas Loot. Now, a few of you are wondering, yeah, Atlas Loot don't want it to change that much used to it. Well, fear not, because the only thing that I can see they haven't really changed that much is the minimap icon, which is still the brown chest or fat loops, which you are all familiar with. Now, don't worry, these changes are for the better, and I feel that Atlas Loot has been greatly improved. This is version 6.0, would you believe? Um, so let's just click the conveniently placed icon next to my Peggle icon, because the other one is covered up by Gatherer and Bejeweled. Clicking it can bring up your Atlas loot, or alternatively, if you're using fraps and recording at the same time, can crash your computer, which can be a pain, because restarting the game and doing this for the twelfth time is a bit annoying. Now, menus. The menus have been removed and revamped. Because as you remember, there were two menus. One was for choosing bosses in raids, and one other one was choosing for whichever s section you wanted to. Now, um, this one has been changed, the one on the left has been changed to just four options, and it's for choosing expansion packs. We will keep this a Burning Crusade for now, for the purposes of uh, sim simply just looking at stuff. Um, the Cataclysm stuff is in there, but it's not working, of course, because all the Cataclysm stuff isn't in-game yet. All the stat None of the stats are there, can't look at any of the items. The only things that are there are bosses with the lists of their loot underneath quality of loot, sometimes costs, and also the names. Now, uh, this right one, of course, is replacing the sort of list coming out the side of each of the things, f options for choosing your raid or dungeon. And let's use, for example, Sunwell Plateau here. And what's good about it is, as you can see, the tier stuff on the right hand side of the window um, Bracers of the Forgotten Conqueror, Protector, Vanquisher, they are all red. Now just mouse over these and these will automatically change to viewable hurrah. And that's a good feature. These buttons for navigating through bosses at the bottom still work. However, I prefer to use the new menu at the side, which you can just click through them as you want without using a ridiculous drop down menu that they had before, which I found rather annoying especially if you accidentally clicked it and couldn't get it to close. Rather annoying. Now, this is all rather good and quite quick navigating through the bosses. Rather nifty. Now, other options um, that you used to have on the menu have been changed and put down at the bottom in hyperlink buttons here. World Events. Just clicking that and it brings up a similar list of events which have all been updated to current events. So if you click on Brewfest and you go to the current Dire Brew encounter, you will no longer have the Brewfest Kodo and Ram dropping from the boss directly, but rather from the keg-shaped treasure chest from the daily reward, which is rather good. Um, Dire Brew's remote is under there as well, although it's a bit further away for some reason, no idea why. Um, we do have stuff like that, you have the new elemental invasion, um, unrest event there, whatever they've called it, it's there, and love is in the air, that's there as well, with level 85 items there, and a list of stuff you get in your daily heart-shaped bag, rather good. Other button collections, again this has been updated, legendary items, the black Karaji resonating crystal is linkable, hurrah! Now. Um, there's a lot less legendary items on here because the ones from the Chaos Encounter have been removed, which is all rather good. Um, saves a lot of space. And also the sword from the Atiesh questline has been removed as well. Go figure, since you can't actually get it in-game anymore. If you go back, collections again, mounts, they've been segregated into different, um, numerous different um, options. Tiers, tier 11 sets has been updated. They've removed one 
tier option from there again, which is rather good because I got confused between that, those, those, and the tier one, two, three sets. Trading card games, transformation items. That's a new addition. And stuff like the Dartol's Rod of Transformation to turn you into a fur bulg. Time lost figurine. All four editions of Rituals of the New Moon. Each of one gives you a different coloured wolf. Tabards again segregated. Justice point rewards again. No, not really any need to explain what that is. Um, factions, new faction stuff here. Hell screams reach. Wild Hammer Clan Therizane. Again, they list. They they just list the items again that you, that you can get. Not really anything special. Again, these just lists of one ones that you can get, like the Frenzy Heart Tribe. PvP rewards, just bashing through these quickly before either I get thrown off again by fraps, which is annoying. This hasn't really changed other than the level 85 stuff at the top now. Crafting, again, not much has changed. Wish list, I've currently got nothing on there for the moment. Search function still works. See if I just search fell steel and watch as it freezes screen for a little bit. Interesting freeze screen since nothing is happening. At least not on Atlas Loot. There we go. And there we go. There's a list of stuff with fell steel in the name, and that is a disconnection. Hurrah! Authenticate code today is three three seven two nine four. So if you got three three seven two nine four, you have won twelve gold. Well done, you. <sighs> been disconnecting me for a long while now. Uh, there we go. It's decided to log me in finally. That's a warning to you. If you ever use Fraps, you will get logged out. You will probably get disconnected at regular intervals while trying to record. But anyway, that you've seen most of what Atlas has to offer. So thank you for watching. I've been George Arcoff.